Hi guys. Happy Wednesday. It's watercolor Wednesday. It's Tabitha here with Nick Harper Manor. I have my daughter Aubrey with me today. And now that we're seeing ourselves on the monitor, we match. How fun is that? <laughs> Both shirts I made, right? So yeah. hey. Plan yeah, we didn't plan it, but it works out. So, hey guys, thanks to Missy and Sean from Happy Groundhog Studio for hanging with us today. Um, we are in week four, project three, and we are doing watercolor monsters today. So, I hope you guys are excited for this. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday the cardboard cakes and Monday our cute little bunny and chick paintings this week. We have some fun ones this week. So, how's everybody doing out there? Did everybody have a nice day? We've had great weather here in Cincinnati um, today and yesterday. So we got outside and played. Hope everybody's enjoying the weather and taking care of yourselves. Enjoying the weather in a socially distant, responsible way. <laughs> so who do we have, miss? Today is Jason's 10th birthday. Happy birthday! And we have uh, Cohen and Bentley from Colorado. We I got from New York. Hello. Uh, Chloe again from Illinois. Hi, Chloe. Uh, Carter is excited to be here. We're excited to have you, Carter. Let's see. Oh, we have the, the crew coming in from Spain again. Oh, hey, crew from Spain. Hi to in Virginia. This is Kira. Hello, guys. Robbie, who's eight, says hi from Massachusetts. Hi, Robbie. All right. Oh, and uh, Lucy, Sally, and Juju from Wisconsin. Hi, guys. All right. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So this one, we'll have a little bit more time to chat while we wait on our monsters to dry. But today is kind of a cool process. We're going to take watercolor, and we are going to um, put it on our paper, and we're going to kind of blow it around and make a really organic shape. And then we're going to let that dry for a second, and then we'll embellish it with some little... Um, get some little googly eyes if we want or um, we'll use the liner or permanent marker to kind of draw some extremities. So what we're going to need today, we're going to need some watercolor paper. Whatever paper you have is fine. It doesn't have to be watercolor, but watercolor is going to work the best. Um, we also need some watercolor paints. Um, we also need a basin with water and a brush, a larger brush so that we can kind of mix up and um, make our nice thin runny watercolors drinking straws because that's what we're going to blow the stuff around on the paper with and then I have a palette to the side that I'm going to mix my watercolors in and make kind of like a soupy watercolor mixture to you know drip on my page um, I have paper towels we have permanent marker and permanent marker pen liner waterproof and then we have some wiggly eyes maybe we'll use them maybe we'll draw them on I think Aubrey wanted to draw hers on we'll see we'll see how it goes but um, if you're going to glue the wiggly eyes on, you'll want some glue. And then we also, I have some paint markers that we might try some things with after and see if Aubrey wants to draw on eyes. We'll use the white for that too. So that is that. So I have um, my little tray of watercolors and I've kind of saturated them a little bit. So let's get some water on them and start kind of, you know, breaking down the watercolor a little bit. And I'm gonna use my big brush. I'm gonna move everything a little bit more towards me. And I'm gonna take some water and I'm just going to make a little pool of water here in the center of my basin. So I'm gonna take just some plain water, plain clear water, and then I'm gonna pick a color that I'm gonna start with. So I think I'll start with turquoise because it's me. So I'm going to get a little bit of this turquoise on my brush and I'm going to get as much as I can on my brush and then I'm just going to drip it in this water over here. And what if you have uh, watercolor pens or pencils? If you have watercolor pencils then you can just draw um, around on a you know you could use a paper plate or something like that and then add water to it and just make yourself just some a, a little pool of watercolor paint. This one, the watercolor pencils probably won't be as organic. You could also sketch out like a little blobby, you know, shape and then shade it in with the water. Um, 
but you know really whatever works for you I'm just making a little pool of watercolor here so you could kind of scrub some of that core of that watercolor pencil and then add some water to it which would work as well if you have acrylic paint you could water that down too you could take um, you know markers and scribble on a plastic plate with markers and then add some water to it to make a watercolor um, liquid watercolors food coloring lots of ways to come up with watercolor today so i've got a pretty solid pool of watercolor now there are a couple ways i could do this so i could drip it on with my brush i could just kind of scoop it up with my big brush and drip it on my paper scoop it up and just kind of start patting it there like a little like a little puddle I'm just dripping it on there and that's a pretty good that's a pretty good puddle it's a pretty good amount so I'm gonna scrape off the excess and then rinse my brush and set it off to the side all right how's yours looking good good all right so we're gonna take this straw and we're gonna do this a couple times so we're gonna do it a couple different ways I have a bendy straw so I can kind of like angle this down but I'm just gonna blow it into different directions. And I'm gonna kind of turn my paper as I do this. And I'm just gonna kind of blow and make it kind of run in different directions. And it's really cool. You can control it a little, but not, not a lot. And the harder you blow, you may blow it into one big line or it may kind of branch out like that. How's it working for you, Brie? Oh, that looks awesome. Okay. And then you can kind of tilt it to kind of get it to cover back in some of the spots that where you lost the pigment. And then you could do it again with another color right next to it. So it could be like a two-toned monster, you know? So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna add some more water back into my little pan here. I'm gonna take some pink, some magenta. I'm gonna make a pink one. And the thicker you put this paint into the water, um, the darker your pigment's gonna be. Now, Brooke would like to know if it matters what kind of straw you use. Not at all. Anything that's going to get the air to kind of be concentrated towards your little guy. I'm going to dab some more of this on here. Aubrey's just blowing hers all over the place. Blow away. Dawn said the only reason she knew what day of the week it was is because it was watercolor day. <laughs> I know. I feel the same way, Dawn. Because seriously, I asked when I got in here, I was like, uh, what day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday. It's watercolor <laughs> Wednesday. Watercolor Wednesday. You know, that was really a, that was a tool for myself, guys. That was like a, a way to keep me, keep me in the current. All right. So I'm going to blow this one. And it kind of blew into the blue and the turquoise. And we'll kind of see how that, how that goes. I might blow them kind of into each other. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so we're just gonna, we're, we're kind of making a cool little organic shape here. And then I am going to take a little bit of the edge of my paper towel. And I'm gonna kind of block some of this up because I do want to be able to dry. Too Maybe you want too much. <laughs> Aubrey, Aubrey needs to breathe. So you can always use your paper towel and kind of take some of this pigment off, pull some of the watercolor up a little bit. I like one that's straight. 
We'll add turquoise. Yeah, add whatever you like. But this way, we're going to dry a little bit. So I'm going to let that guy sit off to the side. I'm going to start a new guy down here. And we're just going to make some cool little shapes with these guys. Um, and then we'll come back in and then we will we will draw some little extremities on them, make them look more like actual little figures. But for now, we're just making some little, we're making some little guys. How's everybody doing out there? Are you guys having fun with this one yet? So more people checking in would like to say hi. Hello guys. Tom and Jack from Anderson Township. Oh, Anderson Town. I grew up in Anderson. I graduated from Turpin High School, guys. That's so, so close. Cambry from Columbus. Kaylin hi, Cambry. from Huntsville, North Carolina. Oh, hey and guys. Neha from California. And Jacob and Sammy from Massachusetts. Hi and guys. Ryan, Axel, and Joby from Washington. Oh, those are such fun names. Ryan, Axel, and Joby. How cute. I love the name Joby. Olivia, Sophia, and Alexis, little sister Zara is going to have her, it's her first birthday today. So oh. they're making birthday monsters for her. Oh, happy <laughs> birthday, birthday monsters. That sounds pretty perfect, I think. All right, so I'm going to drip a little bit of this orange and this yellow here together. I'm going to put them side by side, and we're going to see how that turns out. Okay. This was my straw, correct? You didn't use this, right? Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. That yellow is really light. You might find some colors that work better than others. This yellow is not my jam, but. You're all done? Okay. It's looking good. Is that gonna be one big monster? Yeah? You wanna set him to the side? We'll put him up here and then you can make another one. Okay. Okay. Do you wanna blot any of the excess off here? Yeah. You wanna take some and just maybe, that one's kinda of wet, so maybe take a new one and just kind of, we're just gonna kinda of pull up a little bit of this watercolor here in the center. Yeah, because we want to be able to draw on it and we want to be able to add some uh, wiggly eyes and things to it or you want to draw your eyes on. But we Maybe, want to be, yeah, know. we want to let this, we want this to get pretty dry before we start doing any of that with it. So we'll pull some of this extra water off here and we'll sit this off to the side. And you, my love, can have another sheet of paper. How's it going for you this week, Bob? How are things? Um, pretty much the same as you. Same, same as me. We live in the same house. What's been your favorite thing to do this week? Um, well, this is the first thing I get to do, so it is. <laughs> I mean, in the week in general, not just in art. Well, art's the highlight. Oh, that's sweet. All, so. That makes me happy. Makes me happy to hear. I love, I love that you love art. I love that so many of you guys love art. I get the sweetest notes from you guys. They're so happy and so, so encouraging. You know what, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to clear for a second and we're gonna do a little wet on wet technique guy with this. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my clear water and I'm just gonna paint around here a little bit and just kinda, since it's clear, you don't really know exactly where the water is going so this will help us have a pretty cool organic shape. I'm just gonna kinda put some, put some water on there. And then I'll go back in and I will drip directly on to the paper. I don't know if you remember from week one when we did wet on wet, but it just turns into these really cool bursts. They're so pretty. I love it. And then you just, tap so gently and it just kind of goes in and it really just funnels into the other side of wherever that water is. I love it so much. 
Yeah, be like this. A friend, we have somebody tuning in from Brussels, Belgium. Yay! And they said that they love the color you put into the world, and thanks for what you're doing. Oh, thank you guys. That's so sweet. Well, thank you for being so kind and for loving it because that's what makes it all worthwhile. That's why we do what we do, guys, just to make this place a little bit easier for everybody. We're all going through it together. All right, I'm going to add some of this pink, this magenta over here. You're Let's getting see. a lot of love. Everybody is very Aww. thankful for you doing this. Thanks, just guys. so happy. Are you doing what? Highlight of their day, they Oh, say. yay. It's the highlight of my day, too, for sure. I need new water. Need new water? Mm -hmm. Let me get you some water. Oh, Miss, you'll get you Thank some. You. Thank you so much, Miss. So with this wet on wet, it's so fun. It just kind of, they blend into each other. Like, it's just like a little, it's like little tie-dye bursts. It's so fun. And you can kind of wiggle it around. You can have it, you know, they can run into each other. You can kind of tilt it back and forth and Thank let them you. run like that. So pretty. And then the blue and the magenta together make kind of like a little, a little bit of a violet color here on the edges. The wet on wet is definitely my favorite technique. You get to just kind of play and swirl it back and forth. So that one is, if you didn't have a straw, you could do it that way too. You just kind of tilt it. You get these cool little rivers of where the color mixes on the edges. That's super fun. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do a couple one. people are asking, you're just using watercolor paper today, right? Yeah, just watercolor paper. And you could really use any paper. You could use um, that cardstock that we had. You could also use, um, you could use any basic paper. The watercolor paper, it just holds up a little bit better. It's thick. It's um, made for this. It's made to kind of hold on to that water and be really absorbent. So it's just a little bit, um, you know, it's, it's what it's made for, but it doesn't mean that something else couldn't work too. We have a Kayla is a pediatric occupational therapist tuning in, and she loves these daily projects Aww, you're doing. Oh, thanks, She's been sharing Kayla. Them for kids and super excited yes. about this blowing technique. It's, yeah, it's a great self-regulation tool for kids. It said. is. It really is for sure. We do lots of um, deep breathing. And Kayla, you might appreciate this. My youngest son has sensory processing disorder. Asher does. And if you've ever seen him on um, any of these tutorials with me, you might be able to identify some of those things about him. And we do lots of deep breathing for him. Self-regulation is key. I finished this one. I oh, beautiful. All right, go ahead and leave that one there. I made an Easter monster. An Easter monster? He's gonna be so cool. All right, so I'm just adding some more colors into this little wet pile down here. I'm gonna kind of pull some of that out a little bit. Add it all together. All right, so I'm gonna rinse my brush off and then I might you blow these out a little bit. He looks like a spider. It yeah, looks, looks cool. like a cool bug. Like, I know. When you <laughs> blow it out, it's pretty cool. <laughs> when you blow it out, it looks like really cool because when you melt a crayon, like it does. It does look like a melted crayon. Yeah, I like it. And then, you know, once you blow some of the pigment out from these, you can come back in and you can do kind of a wet on wet because you've already made it wet there. So you can add a little bit more of like the blue or whatever color that's kind of complementary to it. You can kind of add that in there too and get these cool little bursts yeah, with it. Just add a little bit of, you know, variation in there. So I added some blue to the center of him. So yeah, this gives me quite a few little guys to work with. All four of these are going to be fun. 
Um, and we're just going to use our imaginations. We are going to um, decide what, it's kind of like the cloud game. Like, what does that cloud look like to you? What is this little blob of paint? What does that look like to you? Mine's just a blob. That's okay. You can. Patsy says it's an amazing project. Yay, she loves Patsy. it. <laughs> Patsy's wedding cake yesterday was off the charts. If you guys saw from yesterday's, um, you know, Manny's pics from yesterday, we had, um, my cousin Patsy had a wedding cake that she did that was like legit wedding cake. It was awesome. <laughs> so super cool. So I'm just taking some of this excess water off of here so that I can kind of start to get it a little dry so we can work with some of these. And the watercolor part just takes a little while to dry, especially if you're getting these really deep pigments where you've blown the, the watercolor out to the edges and you're letting it sit there and it's kind of soaking in. Um, this might be a longer process. So I'll take the one that's dry and then maybe we'll get back out to some of these other ones. But we'll start by just kind of deciding what this guy looks like to us. So for me, um, you can shut that drawer, thank you. Um, for me, it is probably gonna be, what way should we angle him? Does yours, is yours on, is yours facing? The direction you like or do you want to start with this one because he's a little more dry let's start with yes. this guy so you just kind of want to look at it and you want to decide Ooh. what does this look like okay i already have it yeah this is his head and his legs and his tail okay say it say a little louder so um this is his head that's gonna be his head this is like one of his legs okay this is another one of his legs this is like a tail okay and then I guess he's like a dragon or something. Oh, That's cool. his ear. So Aubrey's doing a dragon, which I think is awesome. He looks kind of like Mushu. Mushu, he does, from Mulan. If you can't tell, we're a Disney family. All right. So that looks cool. You are ready to get started on that whenever you are ready. I am going to go with this guy. He's going to be... Does anybody, any of the parents out there remember all real monsters, that like 90s Nickelodeon cartoon? Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, you've seen it because you're my kid. So I think that this one's going to be like the girl that has the big eye. You know, the one that's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. So we are going to kind of go in here. And this one, maybe I'll put wiggly eyes on this one. And this we'll start one, with her eyes. This one kind of looks like the guy who holds his eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to pick some wiggly eyes. Maybe I'll put these on her. Eh, let's go with these. So I'm going to just put some eyes on there. Doop. I picked those eyes. What do you think? Do you want some eyes or are you going to draw yours? Can I have a googly eye? Sure. Go for it, girl. So I'm going to put those on there. And then... I'm gonna draw maybe her little arm coming out around here. So maybe this is her little, this is her little hand. And maybe she's got another little arm. And then you can add, once you kind of draw her, we can go, and I can give her another little hand right here. Doo -doo -doo. And maybe she's like doing her hair. And then maybe she has tentacles. I can give her some little tentacles. Yeah, I don't think this is a dragon, but whatever. I mean, it's whatever you want it to be. So you just want to kind of like start making some shapes with them. Any tips for people that don't have googly eyes? Draw them on. Aubrey's going to draw hers, I think. Draw one of them. She's going to draw just some... You know what? You could also take um, white paper and take, like, just a, a piece of white paper, and you could draw... Or I'll just do it down here at the bottom on this guy. 
you could just take a piece of white paper and you could draw an eyeball with a little eye there and then draw another one there and that could give you multiple sizes of eyeballs you know draw one right there do a little white in the middle and then you could cut them out and set them right on top so these would be fun little eyeballs can you see those tommy tom tom mm -hmm. yeah so i mean you could take these and then you could cut <clears throat> them out and sit them right on top and those would be perfect little eyeballs to use um so she has all these little legs and i'll give her one more little foot over there and she's got little tentacles on the end of them and then this could be her crazy hair and she's like holding her hair up like oh my gosh And then let's say, so her little arm isn't, her little arm isn't um, colored here because I drew it out there. And I could just do, 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 drip some color back in there. And look, now her arm is part of what we oh, got going on. Weird. And I could drip some pink in there too. There we go. And then I could go back in and give and fill in her hair up here if I wanted to. Or I could leave it completely organic the way that it was before and just let your imagination do the rest. Mine looks super weird. I think she's awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tom, I hope you can get a picture of Aubrey's over there for people. Hers looks amazing. And that way, There's our one little monster. Oh my gosh, Ah, oh, that looks awesome. And then you could outline and give it the one solid tail too. There you go. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah, here's the glue. All right, so did we wanna see how paint marker goes over top of it? I know, it's really adorable. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna use this white paint marker and see how it goes over. You could use acrylic paint too. It's hard to tell if white paint's coming out on the white piece of paper. Nope, it's not coming out. We'll try pink. Let's see, the pink will work a little better. There we go. One of your youngest little fans said he got to do these in preschool. Oh, yay. That's super cool. Oh, dang, I need the white. Yeah, the white's not working for some reason. I was going to draw teeth on him. I know, that's exactly what I was going for, too. But the white's not working. That's okay. Um, you do have white in your, in your watercolor palette. But I can't get good control of that. I know. The white and the watercolor... White is really hard to use. Let's we'll just see. Draw with black. Yeah, so we can kind of. Tom, will you see if I have a white? Um, thank you so much. It's nice to be at the art studio where I have the supplies that I can just be like, "Hey, find me this." Um, but the white that comes in our watercolor in this Derwent um, ink tents pan. It does have an nice opaque white that you can use too. So that wouldn't work for her. There, she's got little teeth. Thank you. A couple. They're there already saying what your monsters look like. Somebody <clears throat> said the orange one looks like a dachshund. I, it, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm so excited. We're going to turn and we're going to do that dog now. We're going to do the little dog. He's going to be a little monster dog. You're getting some potato requests, Tommy. Some potatoes. <laughs> hey, you can never have, know when he's going to pop. Can I have potato, the turquoise potato, paint? Potato the great, you never know. Can I have the turquoise paint sure. marker? Sure. Here you go. Yeah. So I'm going to take some of this extra pigment off here. Somebody's doing an Easter monster. This is going to be an interesting Easter. <laughs> yes, Easter monster. <laughs> I made an Easter monster. Yeah, and Aubrey's is an Easter monster. Yeah, so that happy little monster right there she's cute 
All right, let's turn this dog. Let's turn this into, let's give him an ear. He's gonna be a, he's gonna be like a, the dachshund version of a monster dog. Ooh, Phoebe has sparkle watercolors. Phoebe, that's extra. I like that. <laughs> that's so fun. Sorry, it's okay. So let's give him, he's going to be like a, he's going to be like a little, I don't know, he's going to have like a little trunk. <laughs> and then he has a big ear there and a little horn. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he almost looks like, remember in, in Fraggle Rock, the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the trashy yes. guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the oh, long it's like a unicorn. Yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like an ill ant ear. Trashy best focus. Yeah. Look like those. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Wait, he needs an eye. Let's give him an eye first and get him. He needs a tiny eye. Do I have a? Oh yeah, I have a teeny tiny little green guy down here. This will work. I'm done with this one. Looks awesome. You ready to move on to your Easter monster? Wait, I need to. Do Go for it, girl. Give him toenails. All right, I'm going to put his little eye right there. Color. <laughs> Easter monster toenails. Yes. Or, I'm sorry, that's not the Easter monster. That's this isn't toenails. the Easter monster, but we'll give okay. him toenails. So I'm gonna give him his. <laughs> Googly eyes make everything better, you guys. Oh my goodness, everything. All right, so he's got. Now he's got. He has gills. He's he has match match colored toenails. I, I mean, I don't even think there's anything else you can do to this guy. He's pretty cool. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Aubrey's the best namer. She names everything. Um, so. Georgina. Georgina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or Gilbert. It's Georgina now. I've already read, written it. Oh, okay. Georgina. All right. Who's this guy? Who's uh, this? It's Winifred. Okay. This one will be Carlos. Carlos, do you have, doesn't even have a face yet. <laughs> Not going to have a name. Oh, this one. Let's go to this one up here. This little scary spider guy. What do you think? What do you think? Let's 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 pretend that I don't have googly eyes and let's draw them on. Or you know what? We can just cut out the ones. I want to use some of these little ones that I drew over here. I kind of like these. Do all of them. All of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. On the little back. All four. Uh huh. Sounds good. How's everybody doing out there? Good? Yeah, everybody's loving them. Everybody's cracking up. All they're talking about all their two-legged spiders. Yes. And, um, drip monsters. Yes. And more metallic watercolors. I just bought some metallic watercolors, actually, and some black paper to use them with. I thought that would be one of my fun little core activities. Yeah, we've got a corona monster. Yes. That should be the corona monster. Yeah. The quarantine monster. Quarantine monsters, yeah. Corn monsters. Okay. I'm loving Gwendolyn, these little... Gwendolyn, the quarantine monster. Gwendolyn? Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to spell Gwendolyn. You guys, the, I, I might like these better than the little gig, than the wiggle eyes. These, like, make your own cut them out ones. Nope, he doesn't have any. 
Okay, I like these. All right, I'm gonna... Okay, I think it's gonna be holding. Each one's gonna hold a little eyeball. Each of these little arms. Okay, this is his head. This will be like um. I like making monsters with you, Ob. Thanks, I like making monsters with you. Everybody's really taking control of the coronavirus here. They're making, they're making coronaviruses. Yes, yes, if you can visualize it. <laughs> Oh, look how fun he is. He's like a, he's like that snail on Moana the, with those eyes oh, on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I forget his name, but the guy who sings Shining. Yeah. What is his <laughs> name? I can't remember. Oh, he's oh, yeah. uh, in charge of, is he the, the jewel guy? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. the, the one. Crab I should know. He yeah. watches that like. The shiny crab. Yeah. Time. What's his name? I can't remember. Somebody out there in the Facebook lands, help us out. I can't remember his name. Okay, so I just traced the entire thing, so I don't even know what things are anymore. He looks kind of like a ram or a bull, <laughs> I guess. Or it also looks like a really fat caterpillar. <laughs> you know this caterpillar <laughs> thing you see? Yeah. This is like um, a horn or whatever. He has a little belt on. And then we'll give him, like... Because I'm shiny. <laughs> what you talking about? So shiny. And then, like, an ear here. Looks kind of like a, a fat unicorn. Really chubby unicorn. With a really crooked horn, I mean. Is his name Tomatoa? Is that what they say? Tomatoa or Tomatoa, something like that? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Um, this is like the tail, I guess. Why is everything I make a unicorn? I don't know. It's just your unicorn spirit, I guess. <laughs> okay. Look at this guy. He's like running. See his little. His little. Footprints. He's like, look, it's a unicorn. Why is everything I make a unicorn? <laughs> Actually, awesome. it is awesome. I love it. Okay, so he's got his crazy little eyes. Let's get him. That's fun. He even has a belt on, guys. He's got it lays off. he's got pants. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody called it a unicorn yak. Yeah, that's what you have a yakicorn. <laughs> a yakicorn. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, yakicorn. We've discovered a new species. <laughs> the species should be in my name. This guy. Um, he's like running. He's got little. His little fur bumps. These are fun. When it's quiet over here, you know we're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna draw one eye, and then we're gonna use um. A deep look. What do you think about him? He's running away. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and Seems then no. I Seems need Nelson. a big red googly eye. George Nelson. Babyface Nelson. Oh, Olivia named hers Tabitha. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this guy. All right. Tabitha's well. inner monster. Yes. <laughs> My inner monster. My inner monster came out a little bit yesterday. I was not. I was no, not. No, I squished the eye. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. You can pull it off. I think we've all had a little inner Corona monster. Maybe a green one. Okay. All right. This last guy. Oh, that's a good idea. Kim made an anti-Corona monster. Yes, yes. That's what we need. We need more of those right now. Corona killers. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
And then this one obviously needs nail polish because it's a stylish uniform. All right, we're gonna give them some little doo -doo -doo. And then, you guys, I hope you're having fun with these. They're so easy and so just like open-ended and fun. Okay. Just gonna have a gym shoe on this foot. Or a no shoe on the other one? <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Why do you have to make sense? Mine don't. <laughs> well, Kira wants you to know that she thinks your yakka corn is adorable. It is. It's fantastic. <laughs> See, she has ballet slippers on. That's what they are. Oh, okay. So, does she have, like, four feet, or are those... Like, six feet, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. My, it's She's fine. A monster. Mine has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten feet. So, it can't be a yak of corn, because yak corn. It'd be a scent of, a scent of yak of corn. <laughs> so, we've got turtle frogs, and we've yes. got... Yes. Potatoes, of course. No, and we're gonna radioactive ghost monsters. Yes, is that Asher out there? Is Asher <laughs> tuning in? <laughs> Somebody named theirs Joe Bob. Joe Bob. That sounds. Is that Ella? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that my sweet Ella? We're just gonna give it. And a rock and roll monster. Can't wait to see these. It doesn't make sense anymore, so I'm gonna give it another horn. And just <laughs> do that. All these little. Dollar and a heaps. Okay. Let's let's make some more eyeballs for her over here. Um I can't wait to see all these. It's so fun to see them all. Make sure you guys use the hashtag because that's how I search them. Made with McHarper. And I like finding them on Instagram too because Instagram's so nice and easy. I can just scroll through and okay, crack done. up. I'm done. At all of them. I'm done with both of them. Okay, good job, girl. You rocked it out today. I'm cutting out the last eyeballs for my Angelina Ballerina monster. Let's give her, can I get the glue please? Thank you, ma'am. I love this. I love it a lot. You did a great job. Thank you. Make the top of her head over here. Okay. How about that one right there? Let's give her some big pink lips. She's a prima ballerina, so she needs to have some big pink lips. Oh, looking great. So good. So good. Let's give her some eyelashes. Dink, dink, dink. Dink, dink, dink. What else? She look good? Um, I think she needs a tiara. Oh, oh I think good. you're right. <laughs> See, this is why this is why I need you. Let's give her or just a crown in general. Yeah, let's give her a let's give her a tiara. We'll do some little and a tutu. A tutu, okay. All 
don't, right. d but don't go too crazy on the accessories because if uh, you have too many accessories and it gets really overwhelming. That's true. We can't go too crazy. Okay, so I gave her a tutu. Been there, done that. Been there, oh. done that. Went a little, went a little overboard on the accessories. All right. All right. What color should we make her crown? Um. Let's uh. Pink. Pink or maybe, maybe. Purple. Purple? You can make a purple. Let's just go with this turquoise that I have sitting over here. I have so much of it. We'll do turquoise and a touch of pink in it. I'm trying to think of a name. Katrina Ballerina. Your neighbors in Mainville, Christy, said they can't wait to visit after all of this. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to come visit. This is like a dream come true that I get to connect with people, and then you guys will come see me in IRL, in the real life, after. <laughs> Well, somebody made a splatacorn. That's a oh, good one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all be splatacorn. A splatacorn. <laughs> and what kind of white marker are you using? Um, so this one that is working better Sharpie. is the Sharpie paint marker. It's the oil. This is the water-based one. They make an oil-based one too, but I like the water-based one. It has a really nice fine tip to it. Um, I do prefer the Sharpie paint marker. I like these a lot. Um, I also, I was originally using the pen touch one. Um, I guess I've let this one dry out a little bit. So, um, but the other paint markers are these um, Arteza fine point markers. And then I have some really um, cool Derwent ones too that I haven't opened yet. Those will be fun for another project. I haven't even opened them. So I figured I would have to spend too much time priming them but I will be using those um, on another tutorial. But yeah, Sharpie white one works really well for this. Um, and it, you get a lot of, you get a lot of, um, it, the bigger barrels have a little bit more paint in them. So I feel like that one stretches a little bit. It's, it's good bang for your buck. All right, what's her name, Katrina? Yeah. Katrina the ballerina. Mm -hmm. Trina Ballerina with a heart at the end. Okay, so that's four monsters. Oh, I like Nelson's running. I know, yes. Nelson's running away. I'm not sure who wants me to tell you this because it looks like Melissa may be the mom, but they want you to know that they made a potato drawing. Oh, yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we've Hooray got for rainbow potatoes. caterpillar monsters. And rainbow a caterpillars. Form. Yay! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it was super fun. Um, I'm going to scoot these over to the side and we are going to talk about tomorrow's project and the prizes for the week because what's a week in Corona time without prizes, right? Because we need something to look forward to. Um, this week. When you use the hashtag made with McHarper, we're going to go through and we're going to pick two winners again, like always. And this week's prizes we have from Missy and Sean, the Happy Groundhog Studio. We have this little fluff and stuff cloud. Happy cloud. Happy yes. cloud. Is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Are your hands clean? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Aubrey would like to hold it and love on it for you. We will be sure to Lysol it before we send it to you. Get your face off. Thanks. And then we also have this um, from us, from McHarper Manor. We have the Future World Changer t-shirt. That's the shirt for the week. It is um, a unisex one, boy or girl. This is actually like a rusty kind of um, pastel rust color. Asher, this is his favorite shirt. He wears it all the time. So this is a fun one for this week. Um, those you can find on our website too if you go under shop our apparel. So mcharpermanor.com, shop our apparel. You can find that on there too. But those are the prizes for the week. Tomorrow we have some more fun for you. We are going to do print plates. Okay, so print plates are really cool. I'm a printmaker and I create illustrations and things that we do on multiple things. So like for this shirt, 
I drew it and then we created a silk screen and you can remake the print over and over and over again every single time. Yep, that one too, because you have a print plate. So for, the, for these, we use silk screening. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a print plate out of upcycled things around the house um, that you're gonna be able to make a design and then make it over and over and over again. It's like a stamp, really. You'll be able to use it with paints or markers or whatever you like, and then you can stamp and make it last forever. So for this particular print plate that I had done in a previous class, we um, used some foam and some uh, bubble wrap and the inside of cardboard, that corrugated part on the inside of cardboard, pulled some of that apart um, and just cut some really cool shapes with the foam. And that is how you're gonna you know, paint it and then stamp it and you can make a repeating pattern. You can do cool stuff with this. You can make like, um, you can make wrapping paper, you can make backgrounds for other designs. Yep, we made the rainbow on this one. But um, for tomorrow, to do this with us, you're gonna need just some cardboard, so like a broken down box that you can pull apart. Uh, the cardboard is what we're gonna make our plate with, all right? You'll want some glue. You can use tacky glue, um, school glue, or you can use hot glue. I'll probably use a combination. Some things work better with hot glue than the tacky glue, but if you have a hot glue gun, that's an awesome thing to use it. Um, I do love bubble wrap. Bubble wrap gives such good texture. You're just gonna look around for things that give you texture, nice um, things that are gonna break up that smooth board. Yarn is cool. You can throw yarn on there and it'll stamp and um, create different textures. If you have any of these little like foam stickers from anything, those are perfect. These are ideal for this kind of project. So we have some leftovers from some things. Um, foam sheets, that's what I had you buy the foam sheets for for this week. So just some pieces of foam. If you have any of those cool like wiggly edge scissors or anything like that, these are perfect for this too. If you don't have those, that's okay. We can draw with a pencil. You'll want, yeah, we have lots of these. You can use um, just a regular pencil or pen. You can sketch out the texture that you want and we can cut those out too. So you'll need scissors for that as well. Just regular scissors too. And then, Glue, yeah, we, are, we talked about glue. But yeah, you'll just need to find some things that you like. You can use um, plastic from the recycling bin, anything you can find. You can use toilet paper rolls and we can cut tiny little slices out of that and make perfect circles. The little edge, um, the ring that comes with the milk jug, um, the lid, when you take the lid open from any kind of jug and you get that little plastic ring, those are perfect to put it on there too. So many different things. I want you to be very, um, adventurous and trying and try to find some cool textures for tomorrow so that'll be tomorrow just gather some supplies for that that'll be our fun upcycled project for the week but other than that that's what we've got for you today i can't wait to see what you guys made today as always the ways to help are venmo at tabitha dash mcclung and paypal.me slash mcharper manor we are um loving your guys's like sweet notes and your generous donations have been so helpful to help take care of our families while the studio is closed. Um, you know, we really do appreciate you guys and we love the love that you guys are giving right back to us. So it's so helpful. It's keeping everybody's spirits up here. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I can't wait to see what you've made. I hope that you join us tomorrow for printing plates because that one's super fun. It's close to my heart. So you guys gather your supplies. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same place. You guys, any questions? One more potato. One more potato. We have a request for one more potato. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. If you can get outside and like yeah, <laughs> we, need a, we need a potato that can wave. wave. If you guys can get outside and play, get outside. Some fresh air will help. It helped me so much yesterday. I hope that you guys are loving on each other and having fun. And we will see you tomorrow, one o'clock. Take care of yourselves and each other. We'll see you soon. Bye.